Welcome to four cool things about the Suicide Squad trailer, the third one. Number one, yes, neck bombs. It looks like they're putting neck bombs or nanite neck bombs, something like that. But in the previous trailers, we hadn't seen that. And I was getting a little bit worried because I thought maybe they're going to make it that they don't have neck bombs and that they're just sort of manipulating each one individually into doing what they want and I'm, I'm glad that that's not the case I'm glad there are neck bombs because it makes sense you would need to put a bomb in the bad guys heads to make them do what you want that's the only way you could do it that's the only way Suicide Squad works so it was a real relief for me to see this part here number two Batman saving Harley Quinn we all knew that Batman's going to be in this. Exactly how much, we don't know. We do get a bit more of uh, different sort of action shots of Batman in this. But here's a shot of him actually saving Harley Quinn from something. I like this because Batman's got this... Um he sort of interacts differently with different criminals. Like there are the hardcore criminals that he's just straight up, you know beats up or Ben Affleck murders but then there's other criminals like uh, Two-Face or Mr. Freeze or Harley Quinn where they're bad but they're not all bad there's still some good in them and he still sometimes can kind of work with them as like sometimes they're like informers and stuff like that so I like this here that he's actually I mean <laughs> uh, he's, he's actually trying to help her obviously he's not just murdering her straight off the bat which I'm still wondering how that's going to work with murderous Batman won't he just kill Joker as soon as he sees him but anyway yes seeing a Batman that is willing to actually help other criminals is a good thing Number three, Killer Croc. Previously, some of the shots we got of uh, Killer Croc's design and his look, they obviously weren't finished yet, and some of them looked a bit iffy. I remember when the first picture came out, a lot of people thought he might have been Solomon Grundy, because that's kind of how he looked, but now it looks like his design is more finished, and he looks really good, and I especially like how he has that eyelid thing when he blinks like like a crocodile. It's really awesome, and I love that they've got him in the, the Hannibal Lecter kind of... <laughs> <laughs> like trolley with the mask and all that that's fantastic number four jared leto's joker isn't jared leto's joker amazing because you know he's he just seems to be oozing charisma here so much so that you kind of forget about the tattoo on his forehead <laughs> you remember when that first came out everyone was like what what are they doing you know when jared leto was in that weird home alone pose with you know all the weird tattoos everywhere remember everyone was like that's ridiculous that just doesn't work but here jared leto he just He's just got so much presence just in this trailer that I don't even really notice the tattoo anymore. Just goes to show, Jared Leto, wow, that guy's talented. He really is. And I like the, I mean, we've only seen a little bit of his Joker here, but I like his kind of strange style. Like on the one hand, he's got like this kind of tough gangster sort of edge. But on the other hand, he's got this kind of, um, what's the word? Like sort of floaty movements, kind of floaty for want of a better word, a little bit effeminate sort of movements. So it's, it's a cool mixture. I like what he's doing here. But that's only four cool things in this trailer. Like, there's seriously, like, the imagery, there's so much great stuff in this. Like, I had no trouble finding pictures for thumbnails, which is great. Sometimes with these trailers, it's really hard to find good images for the, the thumbnails that other people aren't using. But there's no shortage of great imagery in this trailer. Fantastic. We could say that's a fifth cool thing right there. So click here to see story speculation. And click here to see a discussion and review of the overall atmosphere of making this movie behind the scenes and fitting into the DCU and all that. So I hope to see you there.